Hello, welcome. Cabbage here. In near reincarnation, let's do some predictions for the upcoming uh, 1.5 anniversary. And I'll separate these out into different categories, and then I'll give uh, percentages to each of the uh, predictions. Uh, this is how likely I think uh, those uh, predictions are to come true. And before anyone asks, no, the percentages don't add up to 100. That's because more than one of these things can happen. Okay, and then these predictions are based on uh, my history with Japanese mobile games, uh, what other games have done, and then also kind of judging by like um, these developers so far. These developers are strange in some ways, so it's kind of harder to uh, guess what they're going to do, uh, but we'll give it a go anyway. Okay, first category are banners. Um, I expect three or four new banner units either on one or two banners with the seven old anniversary units in the pool. I think that's a uh, slam dunk. Uh, but the question is what they will and won't revive. Uh, you know, Christmas and uh, New Year's, those are possibilities. I put a 10% on them, like uh, just the Christmas banner coming back or the New Year's banner coming back. I think it's much more likely that Mama's Exciting Festival is going to come back. Uh, that's where, like, it's a pool where they take three characters. It might be like Noel, Akeha, and 063Y. And then in that pool are all the limited or seasonal costumes uh, for those characters. And like there were three at the first anniversary and you got a free pull uh, that first one. So I think that will come back. And then a Christmas is definitely one that people want to pull on because they want Akeha for subjugations. And then I think uh, New Year's, you know, that also has a uh, chance of coming back. They were really holding it back because New Year 063Y was just so powerful uh, for Arena. Uh, but now that they've released uh, Bloody Griff, you know, Provoke is in the uh, standard pool, so it would be much easier to bring back uh, New Year 063Y. And let's see, Automata 1 and 2 I don't expect to come back. I think there's enough going on otherwise. Okay, next let's talk about uh, the rewards they will hand out. Uh, for first anniversary, they gave out uh, 218 plus 2. Uh, 218 reads as ni i a, near, so that's why they did that. I expect them to give that out again. Uh, I gave a, a low chance of them giving more than that this time, and then a super low chance of less than that this time. And they'll probably give out 3,000 gems, a lavender cube, and then a bunch of other stuff in the uh, login bonuses. And then separate from that, if you look above the, there, that does add up to 100% because those are the only options. Uh, but below, generic awakening stones. I gave it a low percentage. I don't know if they're going to start handing them out uh, this anniversary because they kind of slow roll out uh, some of the other uh, stuff, like especially the dark memory books. So I could see them maybe taking time with the generic Awakening Stones. I would love to be pleasantly surprised, however. <laughs> okay, next let's talk about game modes and buffs. They already announced some stuff uh, from the roadmap. I can put a link to that video below. But new highest difficulty PvE is coming, and then it will involve a new way to play. I can't imagine what that would be like. That might be a good topic for another video. And then new reward costumes. So this might be like a uh, like a strength level above uh, dark memory costumes. Uh, they've really made the dark memory costumes easier to get. So people have more and more of them. So it's maybe time to start thinking about the new level. And then uh, this, the stuff on this slide here, this might be the most exciting uh, part of the anniversary announcements. Uh, but there's very little hype for it just because it's kind of hard to imagine what it could be. Okay, next we have uh, game modes and buffs predictions. Uh, changes to PvP, I do not see any changes here. I think it's pretty popular the way it is, so I don't see any changes there. And then new subjugations boss, I give it a 50-50 chance. Uh, the current subjugations season will end a little bit after 1.5 anniversary, and I don't think that's a mistake. Uh, so maybe they could announce like a new boss and then uh, you know give people a week or so to prepare or uh, theory craft and then release it, that would uh, make sense. Could be the fish, could be the uh, jellyfish. All right, and then weapon buffs and awakenings. 
I don't think Awakenings is going to happen, like where you, you know, overdrive a weapon, but they might give buffs to some of the older one. Uh, more and more there's been talk about uh, kind of the launch weapons not being very useful, so I could see that maybe happening. But we did just get the uh, costume Awakenings, so that might be a little bit too much at one time, but we'll see. And then the next level of costumes, you know, raise them to level 100, that's going to come someday I'm sure, but not now I think. Okay, next uh, we have a uh, my quality of life wish list. No percentages here because this is just stuff that I want to see. Uh, but higher limit for auto farm. It could even be just like 20. That would be an improvement. And then auto farm continues even if you lose. Not that I ever lose when I auto farm. <laughs> and then memoirs UI improvement. It would be nice if they could do something about that. And then uh, timers on buffs, like on skills. Uh, like with the, uh, the weapon skills, you know, you got that thing going around the uh, icon to show you how long it's taken to uh, charge up. If they could do that for buffs, that would be really nice. Uh, like in subjugations, you know, you got your 100% attack buff, that little icon down there, and then it's just there, and then it blinks once, and then it's gone, and you're like, oh, I was caught off guard, I can't extend my buff. So to put a timer on that would be nice, uh, but that would probably involve kind of redoing the entire... Uh, what is it, UI of the uh, subjugations or the attack screen. So that might be uh, far in the future. Uh, next, easier dropped item pickup when you go into the map. They talked about like if you just run by the uh, the dropped items, it'll just like, you know, magnet towards you. Kind of like in uh, Kingdom Hearts, that would be very useful. And then also on the map screen, uh, when fickle birds leave, I don't need a notification that they leave. It's just one more thing getting in the way of uh, telling me that there's like overflow of items. And on that topic, I would like if on the screen where they list all the chapters, if they would add an icon for that uh, chest, if there's overflowing items somewhere, that would really help me uh, go through the map. And then the dark memory daily quests, if they added some kind of skip something or just, you know, clear them all in one go, just hit a button, that would be nice. It takes like almost an hour to get through all of them every day. That's a bit much. And then I love a music jukebox, but I can see why they would not add it. It might be too easy to just rip the uh, the songs from the game. Maybe they want to like keep the music like as part of the game experience. And then in the uh, character screen, I would like to sort by character, not just weapon. Uh, there are times when I want to look at just Leon and no one else. <laughs> And let's see, a uh, running counter on how many times you've used a costume, that would be fun. Uh, you could maybe add buffs to it, you know, if you use a character a certain number of times you get bonus HP or something. And then icons on companions saying if they are support or shutdown. I still haven't memorized what all the uh, companions do and I have to go in there and check like all the time, so it'd be nice if there was just an icon for that. Okay, then finally let's talk about um, predictions for the live stream itself. I expect another voice actor play, and then, uh, let's see, this time they will have Mama, and then the voice actors for S66X and one other, Priet. That's an interesting combo. So they might do a uh, voice play. And then the uh, music performance, that had, you know, a great uh, reception uh, from the audience that time. Uh, but a couple folks in the chat, uh, they made fun of the appearance of one of the singers, so... I would not be surprised if that singer did not come back, or if they just like cut out the vocal component of the uh, music performance, or maybe they could just not show the chat to the uh, performers as they are performing. <laughs> and then I don't expect a uh, collaboration announcement at this live stream. I'll give it a 10% chance. Okay, those are my thoughts on the uh, 1.5 anniversary live stream. Let me know what you are uh, hoping for or uh, wishing for. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.